kind of just separate a little bit until contract wise we started figuring out what we was gonna do because um Steve Rifkin that's when he got that big check from I think Sony. It was loud RCA, but then he went over to Sony and that's when they swallowed relativity. And that's when MOP came over, beat nuts came over. So it got super duper corporate. So we already knew we was gonna get lost in the shuffle because we was kind of lost from just the other groups. So once he did the big merger, we was like, ah. So we wanted to abandon ship. We was trying to get a release and we was gonna go over to Rockers because that was more of a better fit for us. So he got wind of that and was like, no, 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 sit tight. You guys didn't get your fair shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Dante Ross a label called Stimulator. And that's gonna be like how we first started. It's gonna be more underground. It's gonna be more attentive to the artists. And I want y'all to be the big dogs on that label. Y'all, we're gonna push y'all and make y'all, you know, the underground superstars on that label. Kind of like how Rockets was, just catering to the most deaf sounds, you know, quality. So, again, we got yoked in again, like, okay. <laughs> put put a dope album together. We did the features this time. We're like, all right, we know what we're going to do now. We're we, we, we not even going to – we know what they want. So we kind of cut down on the mystics. We did a lot of street stuff, a lot of just regular dope rhymes and beats. We got the features. We got Large Pro to do production. We got Rock Wild on production. Put a dope album together, and lo and behold, Lost in the shuffle again. Wow. Why yeah. why the name change at the time? Just just something different. Not 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 major. Just you know, let's just just throw it off a little bit. So, um what was the relationship with uh, uh Loud before uh, uh this all your last la your last album on that on, on the label? It was cool, but like like we knew we wasn't getting the attention, you know what I'm saying? So we was we was just doing a lot of stuff on our own, you know what I mean? We knew we wasn't gonna get the attention with all those super groups on there. You got you got Big Pun going double platinum, you know what I'm saying? You got Mob Deep going gold platinum every time out. You got the Wu Tang as a whole. Whenever they all get together, the, the, the monstrosity. You know what I mean? So it's like we ain't never gonna get that 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 kind of shine. So it's just like, all right, we just gonna work it until we, until the contract is over, and then once the contract is over, we gonna we gonna try to jump shit. Were you pleased with how that last album performed? No, nah, I think that could have did a lot better too. That that album could have did a lot better because that album was crazy. Like if you listen to the records on that album, the production on that album. You had Large Professor and you had Deck yeah. on the album and Inspector Deck. We had the Coco Bees on front line. That that album was crazy. We had we brought back Pharaoh March and Prince Poe because they had separated, but we got them back together. That that was that was a monster album, Ill Collabo. That was a that was a dope album, man. That should have did a lot better than what it did. So what happens at this point uh, in two thousand? Um, uh, as soon as the record. Uh, performs how it did, uh, where is Phantasm and UG at this point? Um, again, the album is out. People is loving it, but it's just it's just not getting the attention that it deserves. So, of course, shows is coming in. Once shows is coming in, money is being made, so that kind of suppresses a lot of the other stuff. All right, we ain't got a bunch of sales, but we can st we always get busy on stage. So anytime we touch the stage, we trying to, we trying to body everybody. So we get on stage, we light it up. Yo, y'all niggas killed it. You're going to jump on somebody else too. You're going to jump on the show. That's, a, that's the thing. Once shows is coming in, it kind of just defeats everything else because that's immediate money. You ain't got to wait for royalties. You you go do your thing, get that money, and you and you out. So, And then we just figure out, you know what? We'll do the contract stuff later. And then slowly but surely, you know, time starts to dwindle. Shows start to dwindle less and less and less. And then next thing you know, it's two, three years, four years later. You just kind of dwindling down and down and down and down and down. So throughout the years, how have you kept your name ringing uh, in, in, in hip hop? Um, shows, a couple features here and there. Um, UG is super duper active. He stays way more active than me. So anything he do is always going to have the attachment to UG from the cellar dwellers, Phantasm from the cellar dwellers. So no matter what any one of us do, it's always going to be that name, that's going to bring more power to the name. The, the strength is in the group, you know what I mean? No matter what we do with solo artists, the strength is always in, in the group. So 
it always brings the attention. And we still go out and do dates and stuff like that. So that's that's what it's been over the years. What are you guys currently working on? Um, he has a he has an EP he just finished with Nick Wiz. Um, I'm working on I'm working on an EP, trying to get something out there, and then hopefully we can come back together as as the Dweller brand and, and make something happen. And there's still shows. We had a bunch of shows lined up before this this, this COVID thing started. So hopefully once that dies down, we can get back get back on the road and start making things happen again. Do you think with this whole COVID thing that your uh, subject matter will change from what it was to something different? Nah. Nah. Not affecting. I, for me, I, I wouldn't want it to. I, I just, you know, that's what we know known for. We get busy on the mic. Don't want a dope beat. We gonna we gonna spit them bars, and and that's just what it's gonna be. I ain't I ain't gonna try to become all Al Sharpton overnight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. You got enough other people to do that other stuff. Sell the is gonna get busy on that mic. How do you feel about the state of hip hop at this point right now? I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. I mean, you know, it it, it goes left field a whole lot of times, but it it been going left. You know, they they they've been They've been whack dudes even when we was in it. Even though we from that golden era, it was it was a lot of whack shit back then too. So there was a lot of left field shit back then. So to me, it's just it's it's, it's the same. It's just a lot more of the whack stuff, but it was always there. Right. It was always there. Uh, I had D Wise on the other night. He told me to tell you what's up. You guys yeah. recently yeah. linked up uh, and, and did a song. How did that come about? Um, my man, All Purpose, dope MC out of Philly. Um, he hit me up and was like, yo, I kind of elbowed my way on that song because <laughs> they had it already. It was him, it was D-Wise, my man, All Purpose, and Sadat X. And once I heard the beat and I heard how they was coming, I was like, yo, I need, I need to get on this, like, for real, for real. And he was like, all right, you make something happen. I was like, no, 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 we, we got to make this happen. Like, I want in on that. So, you know, we connected the dots and we made it happen. And now all four of us is on it. And it's a nice little posse cut right there. Uh, you think you guys will form a group uh, out of this? Maybe in the future? Just an offspring? Um, well, we definitely going to do some more work. We definitely going to do some more work. Um, me and All Purpose, one of the dudes, we got we got like two or three songs together. I definitely going to do another joint with GYs, whether it's my project or his project. So... It's it's something's definitely gonna come out of this. It ain't just gonna be a one off. You know what I mean? Where do you see yourself in uh ten years from now? Ten years from now? Woo. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the way it's going, you never can know. But hopefully I still be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And that's that's all I can pray for. I don't know where I'll be. I just hope that Things keep going because right now I'm, I'm all right. I'm blessed right now. Um, can you shout out your social media where everybody can find you at? Phantasm underscore cellar dweller. Once you put in Phantasm, you're going to see the cellar dweller part and then you know that's me. Ain't nobody else got that. So, What about your merchandise? Is there another site uh, you'd like to shout out to? Uh... Um, it's called So Fly Global. I don't got an actual site yet for it, but we we trying to get that off the ground, um, either in the summer or, or early next year. This is actually one of the joints right here. You know what I mean? So we 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 trying to get it off off the ground and get it popping. So we doing a little hand to hand like back in the days on the corner. So one sale at a time. But that's that's what it is for now. Any other plans uh, besides uh, music uh, in, in your future? Um, like I said, I want to get the clothing line off, off the ground. Definitely want to finish the solo EP. Hopefully the Dweller EP will come behind that. And maybe maybe trying to do some real estate or something like that. Or, or like a trucking company. I definitely want to, I want to, I want to start a business. But I'm not sure which way to go yet, so. Definitely want to open up my own business. Do you have a time frame on that EP? Um, 
realistically, I would say early next year. Okay. I would say early next year. I think I got some fan questions here for you. You can hang on just a second. No doubt. Um, from Leon Cloyds, did you ever perform in the UK? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We was out in London and um, we was in Brixton and a couple, couple other spots in the West End. A couple other spots. I uh, got a question from Bauer Stower. Uh, was there any videos filmed for the last Shelby First album? We did one, but the video never came out. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to the footage or the reel or whatever, but we had did one and, and it never even came out. And that's when we were just like, you know what, this is done. <laughs> Same uh, person wanted to know, um, how was it, your, your thoughts on being on Dante, Dante Ross's Stimulated Records? Or did that ever formulate? It did formulate. We did, we did the album. It came out on his label. But at the time, Dante was um, running around with um, Everlast. This is when Everlast made the transition to Whitey Ford. And he did that rock album. And that shit went like two, three million copies. And him and Dante was out and about, and he Dante was just never in the office. He was never taking care of business. He was just he was just out living that rock star life. So we, we suffered. Before we get out of here, is there anything you want to leave your uh, uh, message for your fans? Just stay tuned, man, because we we got more in store. We definitely got more in store. So stay tuned. Cellar Dwellers is coming. Hopefully soon, at least a single or EP. Something you're gonna hear more from the Dwellers. I'm working on the EP, the, su the Successful Struggle. That's coming. i um, working on another EP with this other, with some dope producers called Team Demo. They just did uh, all the production for EP for the Bad Seed. So check out for that. It's called Kill Switch. So now me and them going to work on a, a little six song EP called Beyond the Glory. And that's going to be super dope. So just stay tuned. I got something coming. I'm, I'm slow walking, but it's coming though. Uh, a couple more questions. BLK311 wants to know, what's your favorite city you performed in? Mm. I, I can't even say over the years. We done been so many different places. I, I, don't, I don't have like an actual favorite. We, we, we get a lot of love, a lot of patience. So every, everywhere we've been, we, we got love. So it's been, it's been wonderful. Uh, Chris Cartel seven one eight wants to know if you knew what you know now, what would you do differently? Um, if I knew what I knew now, what would I do different? Well, definitely on that first album, I would we would have been creative, but we would have tried to make some more radio friendly type records and just you know play the game a little more and just try to instead of trying to be just super duper lyrical MCs. You have to play the game to have the longevity. So you got to make some kind of radio record. You got to, but still make them dope, though. Not just, we ain't going to just soldier boy it out and do some crazy shit. But, you know, still make dope records, but make some radio hits. Make some, play the game, shake more hands. Kiss a little ass a little bit. You know, you, you got to do the politicking if you really want to win it. That's just part of the game. And a lot of stuff we wasn't willing to do. We was two niggas from Brooklyn like, hell, fuck that. We ain't, we ain't doing all of that. Uh, Tri Barrel Gigolo wants to know: uh, Will you be working with Nick Wiz again? Oh yeah, for sure. He got it. He got it. He got a joint on on a new on a new EP. He already blessed me with a joint, so I'm just holding that in the stash right now. Just just building up the catalog, and then I'm gonna pick Dope Seven, and then it's pen time. Let's see what else we got. Any other producers you'll be working with? And uh, is there any other MCs you would like to work with? Um, like I said, the team demo situation, um, uh, Six Figure Digger. Shout out to Six Figure Digger. Super dope producer. Got gold and platinum records, 50 Cent, Many Man Hole, a lot of dipset shit. 
he blessed me with, with a couple of joints, so hopefully we could get something together. Um, cool Kim on from the UMCs is on is on is on a, is on, a, is on a project. Rusty Jooks from the boot camp. Sean P. Bench, rest in peace, Sean P. Rusty Jooks is on the project, so it, it, it's it's coming together slowly but surely. It's coming together. Oh, shout out DV Elias Christ. I got DV Elias Christ on the hook. He blessed me so. That joint is that joint is monstrous too. So. Yeah, it's coming, man. It's coming. Trust me, I I got some joints. Y'all go, y'all go ahead. It's gonna be it's gonna be that flavor. Uh, did you guys ever perform on the stretch in Barbados show? Oh yeah, all the time. And, all and the time. favorite me favorite memory from that? Um, just 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 going up there and tearing it down every time we went up there and the, and the calls that would come in and and the request for us to come back. It was it was always it was always a good time up there. A lot of a lot of laughter, a lot of jokes, and we you know cellar dwellers just doing what we do, chain on them beats. So, I think that's about all the questions. But uh, I appreciate your time tonight. No doubt, no doubt. And um, we'll be looking forward to that new EP. Be sure to shoot me uh, any info, and I'll be oh, sure to blast that blast that, that off for you. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. So as soon as I get something, I'm gonna definitely let you hear it. Give you the sneak preview, the exclusive, and you're just gonna take it from there. But be on the lookout, man. Like I said, UG got a project coming. Kill Switch the bad season's out right now. I'm working on two simultaneously. I'm working on another team demo and I'm working on my own personal project that I wanted to do for a long time. So they both gonna be monstrous. So check it out. So oh. This is Phantasm. I am the journalist Sincere. This is episode 13, Quarantine Sessions. I appreciate your time, Phantasm. No doubt. And I'll see, see you again soon. So Fly Global is coming. Clover Line. Be on the lookout. Let them know. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks again. All right. No doubt, baby. Peace. All right.